Hi guys, Ireland is facing a housing crisis. There's a chronic undersupply of both social and affordable accommodation for its people. House prices in the capital Dublin are some of, if not the most expensive in Europe. The Fianna Fáil Fianna Gael government had promised to tackle the crisis over the last number of years, but instead of getting better, things have got much worse. Recently, a ban on no-fault evictions was brought in. A no-fault eviction is where a tenant can be removed from the property even if they are paying rent and have no antisocial convictions against them. Now, this is due to end on the 1st of April and has caused a bit of a stir in Dáil Éireann or the Irish Parliament. Charities and organisations representing renters and the homeless have warned that the ending of the ban will result in mass numbers being put out of their homes into a situation of limbo. I'll explain that in more detail in just a minute. Here was a Sinn Féin Member of Parliament raising the issue a few days ago. In your own constituency and right across the state, there are people about to become homeless in nine days' time. They are from all sectors. All sectors. They are young and old. We have letters of children who were born a couple of weeks ago from mothers who have nowhere to go on the 1st of April. You can stand up there and imitate Ona Bryn all you want, but on the ground, that is what's happening. And you voted for this. You voted for that mother and her newborn child to become homeless in a couple of days' time. And every single one of you did the same. Now, you say there's no solutions or we have no solutions. We'll give you a very simple solution to start off with. What about this? Next Tuesday, when we propose legislation to stop that mother and her child and many thousands like her being evicted from the 1st of April, you vote for it. You stand up for renters. You stand up for those who are about to become homeless. You stand up for people in this state and you do the right thing. And then you use that space to do the emergency actions that we've been calling on you to do in your ministers since October. But you are a party and a government that are out of time, out of ideas, and you have abandoned these renters and citizens right across this state okay um a very emotive speech there now i, I want to, what i was talking about earlier on is there there's a, a lack a lack of housing a, a chronic lack of housing in ireland now i'm not going to focus on dublin because dublin is a special case and there's a massive lack of housing in dublin as well but here's a city a smaller city in ireland called limerick down in the southwest and you can see here this is if you if you go to the website daft.ie, I'll leave a link in the description just to have a look yourself. The number, uh, Limerick is a city, a small city of a, just under 100,000 people. And you can see there are less than half a dozen apartments available to rent. And the average is above 2,000 euros per month, which is about uh, 1,900 pounds a month or 1,800 pounds a month. So it's quite expensive and we're not talking about luxury apartments we're just talking about basic accommodation now what's going to happen on the 1st of april is a lot of people we don't know how many because uh, some landlords may may decide actually we're not going to kick people out we're going to keep them in a, a, a big problem is also that small landlords are are selling up and the people who are buying these uh, these homes these apartments generally are not renters who have saved up money over the last number of years. It's actually companies, investment companies, businesses who are buying up these apartments and these properties and then renting them out to, to renters. So there's a, there's a problem where you have a small mom and pop landlords who are getting out of this. Now they have been saying that they're getting out because of the costs related to, uh, to renting accommodation uh, tax stuff like this so they're saying whatever reasons they're they're coming up with they're getting a lot of them are getting out of this business and the the properties are either being bought up by people who have money who have cash or companies who are planning to rent out this accommodation there was a, a terrible story just a few days ago or, um, where somebody who had saved up enough money were ready to buy a property and then at the last minute uh, a company swooped in and, and purchased the property and they were left with nothing. And this person now is in a serious problem, in serious trouble. But what's happening is you have rents rising all over Ireland um, and people are going to be kicked out of their homes. You can see other 
properties around. So if you go outside the city, of course, it's going to be much cheaper. But if you go outside the city, there are fewer services available. And in many cases, people maybe have already been living in those areas, in those uh, properties for a long period of time. The no ban eviction, the no fault eviction, sorry, is going to kick, result in people being kicked out of their home, not because they're not paying rent or not because they have been engaging in antisocial behavior, just because the, the landlord wants to get out of this business. And it's going to be very difficult for a lot of people because they have nowhere to go, literally nowhere to go. Some people will end up going to the local Garda station or police station and sleeping on the floor. Now, the solution to all of this is for the government to invest in affordable and social housing, council houses, for example, but also social housing. But a big problem also is that many of the big companies who are the big developers, they don't want to include social housing in their portfolios, in their new uh, construction sites, because it's a loss of money. It's much better for them economically just to sell off a, a block of apartments at a very high rate, at a very high price, sorry, and not include social housing. Or there are loopholes that they've been benefiting from. The situation has to be dealt with both politically and economically. There needs to be money invested in um, social housing and affordable housing, but also there needs to be political will to move forward on this. Otherwise, Thousands of people are going to be homeless. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.